Well, a top U.S. official is attempting to get hostages out of Gaza as that war with Israel continues. Meanwhile, the Pentagon says that it is fighting back against rebels in Syria and Iraq. Well, here's ABC's Liz Landers with more. This morning, new video showing the moment a U.S. airstrike hits a weapons storage facility in Syria. The explosion? Retaliation for Iranian-backed militia groups who have continued to hit U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria a total of 46 times since October 17th. The Pentagon vowing to strike again at a, quote, time and place of our choosing if they continue. This as the conflict between Israel and Hamas have entered a new phase of fighting. This video showing continued bombardment of Gaza overnight. The small area already subject to more than 10,000 civilian casualties, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry. But some relief for those in the crossfire. The White House saying Israel has agreed to expand four-hour combat pauses in northern Gaza, creating safe corridors for civilians to evacuate. President Joe Biden weighing in. Yes, I've asked for even a longer pause for some of them. It's taking a little longer than I hoped. The U.S. also involved in a high-level meeting to free the more than 240 hostages taken by Hamas. CIA Director Bill Burns traveling to Doha to meet with Israeli and Qatari counterparts in an attempt to strike a deal. As the hostages reach month two of captivity, Palestinian Islamic Jihad released a video of two hostages, 77-year-old Hannah Katsir and 12-year-old Yagil Yaakov. ABC News isn't showing it, but the families agreed to us using these images. Yaakov's mother with a heartbreaking plea for her kidnapped son. They're not bargain chips, they're children. Children anywhere in the world are not supposed to be part of this. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu tells Fox that those humanitarian pauses have allowed more than 100,000 people to pass safely into South Gaza, even as Hamas tries to prevent them from fleeing. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.